Do you like your movie classics but miss a little TNA in them? Well, we have the solution for you. And what about if I was in the mood for a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, then you're in luck. I hope you'll enjoy 10-inch Mutant Ninja Turtles. And how about that old-time black and white classic, It's a Wonderful Life? Yes. And we all know what it, it really needs to be perfect. So that's why you have the option of Tits a Wonderful Life. <laughs> when I was a child, hmm. I liked my Disney movies. Oh yeah. And like I remember back in the day I was in the cinema with my yeah. parents and yeah. my twin sister and we watched yeah. The Little Mermaid. Yeah. And now that you are an adult, uh, you like to see uh, maybe maybe move up to the next level. Mm. Well, then you're in luck. The Little Spermaid might be the movie for you. Yeah! A timeless story by one of our greatest authors, Hans Christian Andersen. Yeah, he would be proud. If he knew, if he only knew. Citroen, Citroen. Sometimes yeah. what a man needs is just some balls to the wall action. Yes. Like Rambo. Yes, of course. But wouldn't it be better if it was a woman who was uh, who had the, the, the leading role? Sure it is. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Rambo could be the movie for you. I'm speechless. <laughs> One of the most popular mm. mysteries of our time yeah. is the Dan Brown classic, The Da Vinci Code. Mm. What if I want a little mystery in my life? Yeah, a little more spice. Maybe the Da Vinci load could fulfill your needs. You gave me some Stallone yeah. in Rambone. Yeah. What about if I'm in the mood for more, maybe some cliffhanger? Well, then cliffhanger should uh, deliver. Sky's the limit. Yes. Will it hold up or stay up in those in that thin air? Well, only time will tell. Boner. Boner. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes mm. I like my films a little bit quirky. Yeah. In the vein of Tim Burton. Mm. In the 90s, yeah. he made a very special film called Edward Scissorhands. Yes. Well, they made that dirty too mm. in uh, Edward Penis Hands. And it spawned uh, some sequels too because. Of course it did. It's time for some fantasy. Oh yeah. Some magic in our lives. Mm. Harry Potter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you'll be blown away by the adaptation Harry Twatter. That sounds greasy. <laughs> I think it's time for some more action, maybe even yeah. a video game adaptation. Oh yeah, because they're like coming back. Coming back. <laughs> Ooh, hey. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> so uh, what do you have in the vein of Tomb Raider? Well, Tomb Raider is uh, the new hot thing. Guys seldom need more than this. <laughs> A modern classic yeah. is the 1994 Quentin Tarantino movie, yeah. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, yeah. Then uh, you'll probably enjoy Pulp Friction. Uh, and I'm hoping for a clever dialogue and a lot of friction. You have the biggest dick I've ever seen on a man. 
Thanks. What do you have if I if I was in the mood for Sharknado? Mm. Then uh, the obvious choice is Skanknado. I can only imagine that it's a tornado with ladies uh, dropping from the sky. That sounds like my kind of nado. Here, boom, and then to the eye. A horror movie that scared me to death, mm. almost, when almost. I was a child, yeah. was A Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, uh, they got that one covered too. Uh, a Wet Dream on Elm Street. And uh, in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, they actually had a wet dream. How's this for a wet dream? So, been there, done that. Nick the dick. Nick the what? The dick. This was a public service announcement from Channel Snacks. Yeah. <laughs>